From as early as the birth of civilization, human beings were held in captivity and used at the will of other humans. While slavery was rare in hunter-gatherer societies, it was widely practiced in civilizations as old as Sumer in Mesopotamia, as well as in ancient Egypt, the Akkadian Empire, Assyria, Babylonia, Persia, Nubia, and the pre-Columbian civilizations of the Americas. The Code of Hammurabi, one of the earliest preserved legal texts, prescribed death for anyone who helped a slave escape or who sheltered a fugitive. In ancient Athens, about 30% of the population were enslaved. In ancient Rome, about 35%. Nearly everyone who could afford to hold a slave did so. During the Qin Dynasty in China, when men were convicted of crimes and sentenced to castration, they were also enslaved by the government, and often their entire families were taken as slaves as well. In Asia, slavery was also historically practiced in Korea, Japan, India, and Vietnam. Some people became enslaved after breaking the law, others after losing a military defeat, others after coming into debt. Different enslaved people in different civilizations were treated differently. Some voluntarily sold themselves into slavery as a result of their poverty. Some could become highly educated, and some could eventually buy their own freedom. But many were treated with vicious cruelty, and some were born into a lifetime of slavery due to their parents' status. Even before the rise of Islam, slavery was practiced in the Arab Peninsula. But later, under the Islamic Caliphate, enslaved people were widely trafficked, with many taken from conquered polytheists and idolaters, and many purchased from modern-day Ethiopia, where slavery had been practiced as far back as 1495 BCE. Brutal slavery in southern Iraq led to possibly the largest slave uprising in history, the Zanj Rebellion, lasting 14 years. Slavery was practiced throughout Africa by both Islamic and non-Islamic societies. In early Islamic states in the western Sudan region, about a third of the population was enslaved. Somalians captured large numbers of Bantu Africans from further south and shipped them to northeast Africa and Asia. African slavers often captured adults and children from ethnic groups they considered other for the purpose of selling them. For much of history, Arab societies were the largest business partners of African slave traders. But during the 16th century, Europe outpaced them in exporting enslaved people from Africa, sending them to the Americas. This was called the transatlantic slave trade. While some enslaved people in Africa could hope to escape, those shipped to the Americas had little such hope. And while some enslaved Africans could expect their children to live free, those taken by European slavers could expect their descendants to be born into slavery too. This form of slavery is known as chattel slavery. And while it was practiced in some African societies, it was ubiquitous in American ones. Racism grew drastically during the transatlantic slave trade being used as a justification for treating people of African ancestry as less than human. Slavery had long been practiced by some Native American tribes. After Europeans arrived on the continent, some Native Americans sold enslaved people to the settlers, and vice versa. However, the enslaved population in the Americas would quickly be dwarfed by those imported from Africa. The Portuguese and British empires were the largest European slave traders shipping 5.8 and 3.3 million enslaved people. The French, Spanish, and Dutch also participated in large numbers. Shipped in horrendous conditions, 1.8 million Africans died on their trip to the New World. Of those who survived, 45% ended up in Brazil, 21% ended up in the British Caribbean, islands including Jamaica and the Bahamas, 12% ended up in Spanish territories including Cuba, 10% ended up in the French Caribbean, including Haiti, and 4% ended up in mainland North America. More than half of enslaved African Americans would labor on sugar plantations, with others on coffee plantations and cotton fields, and in mines and households. Slavery is one of the worst and longest-lasting evils in human history. 
while humanity still struggles to recognize the equal worth of all human beings and to provide them with equal treatment under the law, most societies today at least recognize that their fellow humans should not be kept in chains and physically abused for the advantage of others. This major accomplishment in human history would not come easily. In the Americas, Upper Canada would be the first region to abolish slavery in 1793. Haiti would follow soon after in the only known successful slave revolt in history. While the United States would end slavery relatively late compared to other American nations in 1865, Puerto Rico wouldn't end slavery until 1873, Cuba not until 1880, and Brazil would be the last to abolish slavery in 1888. But even Brazil was relatively early by worldwide standards. China abolished slavery in 1906, Turkey in 1924, Iran in 1929, and northern Nigeria in 1936. Slavery in Ethiopia lasted until 1942, with approximately 12 to 25 percent of their population still in slavery as late as the 1930s. In the Western world, well into the 20th century, Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union would resurrect slave labor in the form of concentration camps and gulags. Saudi Arabia and Yemen would be some of the last in the world to abolish slavery, not doing so until 1962. However, even today, slavery still lingers. An estimated 38 to 46 million humans remain slaves, with one in four being children. North Korea holds 1.1 million of them, over 10% of their population. Slave markets have arisen in war-torn Libya, and Mauritania is still estimated to have over 2% of their population in chattel slavery. China operates forced labor camps in Xinjiang province. All around the world, including in the United States, women and children are trafficked and forced into sexual slavery. And in some war-torn nations, children are kidnapped and forced to be soldiers. While slavery still exists, the world has made immense progress. Yet even past slavery can have long-lasting effects, especially here in the United States, where chattel slavery went hand in hand with the social construction of race. Learn more about the stories that define and unite us at fairstory.org.